Good evening, Moon. This is Eli Draka here, coming to you from the uh, Black Spindle Daily uh, Mission. And just wanted to show you guys the, the end of the mission here. Um, in this run, I do get the Black Spindle, which I'm very grateful and excited to, to finally have it. Uh, tried a bunch of times, just either couldn't get a good, good team together, or uh, just tried doing it by myself, and that was uh, extremely difficult. Not sure how so many have done it, but props to them. Um, but check out the video here, let me know what you like, uh, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for more content, and you can follow me on, on Facebook and Twitter as well, uh, it's just Elok underscore Draka or Elok space Draka. But anyway, check me out, let me know what you think guys, I'll leave commentary and a little bit to here in the video. Um, the main thing with beating this final portion of this is to get here as fast as possible. Just take care of all of the taken as fast as you possibly can, then get here and instead of focusing on the boss like you generally would, you need to focus on the blights and the adds. So take out the, the blights have to be the first priority because it's those are the things that summon more adds. So take out all the blights, then work on the adds. And then once there's, when you get a lull in the adds and the blights, then focus fire on, on the boss itself. Um, and it, in this case, I'm an, uh, I was running Night Stalker and the void grenades great cr crowd control on ads along with the, uh, the shadow shot and you'll see in a little bit here where I'll actually use the shadow shot and uh, another great thing to have on this level this level is a uh, the solar legendary sword or it's or the solar or solar exotic sword just a solar sword is really great for dealing with all the knights and captains that have solar shields and you'll see I use mine a lot in this video and uh, it's extremely beneficial to have it um, it's also beneficial if you can have a titan in your group, uh, particularly a defender titan with the the, um, the blessings of light, just because having that that over shield uh, just helps a lot. Right there, you can see I use the shadow shot, and at the base of those center stairs, this, is, in my opinion, is the best place to use the shadow shot because it's a spot that a ton of ads, especially those scions, all come up that center stair. So if you drop it there and you have black hole active. That shadow shot tether will last a long time and trap a lot of enemies. Um, I, I, in fact, you'll see it a couple times in this video. I, I pull, pop it right there. So, but main thing is just try not to die. And if you notice that with the defender titan right here, the little uh, centurion balls can't get through to blow you up, which is nice. So they can't go through the bubble like enemies and yourself can. So that's something to keep in mind. That was really great bubble placement there by the, the Titan that was running in our group. Um, here you'll see what I was talking about again with the Solar Sword. Just, it shreds through these Captain's shields. And the same with the Knights. There's again where I use the Shadow Shot, right at the base of the center stairs. It just seems to be a, 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 cho a bottleneck point where a lot of the enemies tend to congregate. The scions are not particularly dangerous, however, they're time consuming since they can replicate like that. So, you want to deal with them as fast as you possibly can. Dropping a void grenade, like I just did, it helps clear out the, the scions because if they replicate right then, they're going to replicate right in the middle of the, of the vortex. You can see the boss jump down here. It doesn't always do that, it, it seems to be kind of random. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or if it's just random that he falls down once in a while but uh, if you see it he almost immediately goes right back up and at this point we would cleared all of the blights and all of the adds leaving only the boss remaining and so we, we began just focus firing on the boss to, to bring him down and we, we managed to do it with just barely enough time and yes I finally got the black spindle Man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to start using it uh, out in the world. Get it leveled up and infused. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the Black Spindle. I haven't I haven't used it yet. Just got it. Excited to, to try it out some. And uh, I'll be sure to leave a, a review on it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's do this, Guardians.